One month before he was assassinated, Yitzhak Rabin appeared in the Knesset to present the Oslo II interim agreement for approval. And it was a haunting speech because of the timing. But what he did was he laid out what he viewed as the future borders of Israel. With respect to the Jordan Valley, Rabin stated to the Knesset, we're two years into Oslo. This isn't a speech from the 70s. Two years into Oslo, he says, Israel must retain the Jordan Valley in the widest sense of the term. He didn't say whether we had to have sovereignty. I'll admit that. But he made it very clear. This was also the position of Arik Sharon. And when I was asked by Prime Minister Netanyahu to present to President Clinton the IDF security interest map that was done by the planning branch of the army, it included the Jordan Valley. When Sharon asked me to make a presentation that he presented to President Bush in 2001 on Israel's vital interests, we went to the White House, it included the Jordan Valley. So if Rabin, Sharon, the IDF interest map, which was presented by Bibi Netanyahu in Washington, included the Jordan Valley as a vital Israeli interest, I say it was, it's a vital Israeli interest.